the stock market is rigged. And I give up. That's something I've heard far too many people say recently, and it's it's disheartening, uh, to say the least. But at the same time, I can't blame anybody for having those thoughts right now. How could anybody blame anybody for having those thoughts right now? After all, most retail investors' portfolios are down more than 50% year-to-date in 2021. And that's after a year like 2020, where retail investors were living it up in the stock market. So what exactly changed? Why are retail investors being punished right now? Why is our cash theoretically burning like you see in the image behind my face right now? It all has to do with the fact that, yes, the stock market is rigged. That is a blatant fact. And if you right now are sitting there saying to yourself that the stock market is rigged and you're about to give up, well, you're in the exact place that you want to be as an investor. Realizing that that is the one thing about the stock market that is true 100% of the time. The stock market is a rigged game. It's a dirty, dirty place to be because most often big money does dictate the prices of stocks. That's the way it is. Big money, meaning institutions, hedge funds, etc. They control the bulk of the wealth in the stock market. That means that wherever they're placing their money, that is going to affect all of the retail investors. And that's the dirty game they play is they make money off of the retail investor. Think about it. If it weren't for the retail investor, big money wouldn't be able to make money. So what they do is they get retail investors to get FOMO on the way up where they pile into the stocks and then they do a rug pull on retail investors. And all of a sudden those stocks are selling down as the big money sells out of those investments, leaving retail investors holding the bag. On the flip side, with what we're experiencing right now, they force retail investors to panic sell. They do this because they know that inherently Retail investors are going to be emotional with their money in the stock market because it is their money. And it hurts the retail investor to lose money because retail investors are investing the money they've worked hard for. These funds and big money, eh, losing 10,000, 100,000, even millions of dollars here or there, eh, whatever, whatever. If that means we need to take that 10,000, 100,000 or million dollar loss in order to dictate retail investors' emotions to end up even more profitable when it's all said and done, <laughs> That money's nothing. But let's look into this a little bit further. First of all, I wanna look at the index's performance year to date, and we can compare that with what retail investors are seeing in their portfolios year to date. So first, let's start with the S&P 500. The S&P 500 is the largest ETF in the world, and they also house the 500 largest companies in this index. So year to date, the S&P 500 is up over 20%. That is ridiculous return for an index on any given year, and we're just over halfway done with 2021. That's crazy. Let's go ahead and move into the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ is all of the tech stocks, the tech companies. Well, the NASDAQ's up almost 19% year to date. Not much different than the S&P 500. So what's the Dow Jones Industrial Average doing? The Dow Jones Industrial Average is also up 17.5%. But we just got done looking at our portfolios and most of us are down more than 50% in 2021. So what the HE double hockey sticks is happening right now? Well, to be honest, there's a multitude of things that you could use to draw your conclusion as to why retail investors have been slammed in 2021. Anything from the world economy opening back up and people going back to work to retail investors not getting stimulus checks to throw into the markets anymore, maybe even inflation concerns and just uncertainty about the economy as a whole right now. But the bottom line is that all these things can be traced back to big money and what big money is doing with their money in the stock market. If big money is pulling their money out of the high-flying growth stocks, which happen to be the retail investors' favorite stocks out there, well, those stocks are going to hurt. On the other hand, wherever the big money is transferring that money to, they're going to perform very, very well. In this scenario, it's pretty clear that big money has been throwing money into the large cap companies. Just look at their valuations right now. The large cap companies haven't had these valuations according to multiple valuation metrics since the tech bubble, since when this guy was born. That's crazy. So we're back to the fact that big money, most of the time, dictates prices whether we appreciate it or not. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say all of us do not appreciate it right now. But one thing is always clear. Money 
always looks for the best deals. And it's just a waiting game until that money finds those best deals. You know, just over half a year ago, the high-flying growth stocks that retail investors loved, they likely were pretty overvalued according to many valuation metrics. In fact, we could go look at it and see that that was the case. However, right now, it's the opposite. Large caps are overvalued, and the high-flying growth stocks for the most part, especially small caps and mid-cap companies, they're way undervalued. So right now, as retail investors, it hurts right now. No doubt about it. But you're in the right spot right now if you are hurting. That's a matter of fact. And that's because big money is always looking for the best deals and places to put their money. Honestly, in my eyes, it's kind of been a blessing how quickly this has happened, how quickly the high-flying growth stocks have went from overvalued to drastically undervalued. It's taken just over half a year, which is no time in the stock market whatsoever. This type of price action could have been dragged on for several years, where retail investors are feeling the pain for years and years and years instead of just months. But as a retail investor, you have to realize because the big money needs the retail investor in order to make money themselves, they have to keep you and me interested. So what they do again is they play with your emotions. Just like we've seen over the past couple of weeks, we get these random spikes in the stocks we love where every single one of these popular stocks are up five, six, even up to over 10% on any given day. But following that has been several days of deep red price action. They're playing with your emotions. They get the retail investors to FOMO in on those big green days. And then guess what? They pull the rug, they rug pull. They take their money out of those stocks. They leave the retail investors holding the bag. And then what happens? Retail investors panic sell. All in all, big money, even if they took a loss in order to do it, they're ending up more profitable because of it, because they played with retail investors' emotions, because they know they can, and they know that's how they can make money. Again, as I've already stated, it's a dirty, dirty game. It takes quite a person to be able to handle this type of price action. But I'm here to tell you that as a retail investor, if you realize this, if you realize that this is the case, you can play it to your advantage and make tremendous profits, even beating the big money. What big money wants you to believe as a retail investor is that stock price directly correlates with company performance. But if we dig deeper, we can see that this is not the case whatsoever. Just look at right now. All of our favorite high-flying growth stocks right now, their stock prices are at lows, but think about it. As a company, these companies for the most part are performing better than they ever have as a company. But the share price has not reflected that. The share price has gotten cut in half in most of these stocks. So right there is evidence and proof that this is the case. That stock price does not directly correlate with company performance. And the big money wants you to believe that because they can make money off of you if you believe that. But as a retail investor, if you awaken to this fact and you realize better than the majority of other retail investors out there, again, you can make a tremendous profit off of this. All right, so now I wanna end this video off with a Warren Buffett quote. The king of investing, this guy has seen it all. And he says, if you are not willing to own a stock for 10 years, don't even think about owning it for 10 minutes. And then he proceeds on to talk about company earnings. And if you're buying companies with increasing earnings, the stock price will follow that. I think it's safe to say that a lot of the retail investor favorite companies out there have increasing earnings right now. It's pretty evident no matter what company you look at, if it's a good company. So don't even think about owning a stock for 10 minutes or a day or a week or a month if you're not willing to own that company for 10 years. Because the bottom line is, if a company does perform and increases their profits over time, the stock price will follow. It will follow. However, just like with anything in life, it's not just a smooth ride up there. There's peaks and troughs, hills and valleys, ebbs and flows, downs and ups. It's not easy. It's not easy, especially in the short term. It is not easy. And right now, we're in the short term and it's not easy as retail investors. But over the long term, Rest assured, history proves it. If you are in good companies that are growing their profits, their stock price will follow if you have patience. 
Another one of my favorite Warren Buffett quotes is that the stock market is a device for transferring money from the impatient to the patient. Again, this plays right into the fact that big money plays right into retail investors' emotions because they know they can dictate the retail investor to better profit themselves. So what they do on the FOMO on the way up as retail investors pile in, that's impatience. On the downside, when retail investors panic sell because of what big money is doing, that's impatience. But if you are patient in acquiring increasing ownership in the companies you love and believe in, if they're good companies, you're going to be a very successful investor. So what's the hurry? Anyways, guys, I'm going to end this video here. Let me know down in the comment section below what you think. Also, feel free to hit the like button. With that, I'll be back with a brand new video on Friday. Have a great rest of your day and peace out.